Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good night everyone. Okay, I would like to share with you today the topic called Moment Distribution Method. Okay, uh, Moment Distribution Method is the third topic. Okay, the third topic in indeterminate structure course. Okay, and it is actually under structural analysis course. Okay. Okay, let's look at the learning outcome first. Okay, first one. First one, at the end of this lecture, you should be able to, number one, formulate member stiffness. Okay, member stiffness. Okay, you have to, uh, to know how uh, to use, how to use the formula to calculate the member stiffness, the stiffness factor, K. Okay. Okay, and after that, from uh, from stiffness factor, we should be able to to determine the distribution factor. Distribution factor we calculate based on uh, stiffness factor. Okay, and after that, you have to understand about uh, what is carryover factor. Carryover factor we use in the table actually since a uh, moment distribution method. Uh, the goal, the final goal is to calculate the member and moment, member and moment. So we have to understand uh, the carryover factor uh, and how we uh, can we can use it. Okay, and this is also K stiffness modification factor. Okay, number two, uh, we should be able to apply to know how to apply fixed and moment, fixed and moment fixed end moment whenever one member has uh, loaded by uh, an external load on top of it it may be point load it may be uh, udl okay so we have to distribute it to uh, to nodes we have to distribute it to a we have to distribute it to b so we call this as uh, fixed end moment Fixed end moment and fixed end moment. Fixed end moment. Uh, actually, uh, we can calculate based on two condition. It is due to external loading, external loading, and and fixed end moment also occur when when the uh, the structure or the beam, the beam has support settlement, has delta support settlement, or in frame due to side sway. Okay, so this this uh, uh, all that I highlighted here is actually the, the, the term that you should understand. You should understand. Uh, so at the end of this uh, chapter, so you should be able to understand what is stiffness, what is stiffness factor for uh, for element for member member A B member B C member C D. We have to uh, know how to calculate distribution factor. Distribution factor from member stiffness factor, and then we have to understand what is carryover factor and how to use the carryover factor, okay, as well as stiffness modification factor. And after that, we have to know also how to apply, how to apply fixed end moment, how to calculate fixed end moment, how to calculate fixed end moment, okay, and fixed end moment is actually due to external loading as well as support settlement. And please remember that uh, by using moment distribution method, the final goal, the final goal is to calculate member and moment, member and moment. That's the final goal, the, the member and moment. We, cal we will calculate the member and uh, the member and moment using uh, using um, distribution table, using distribution table. OK, so. Before we continue, so this uh, okay, this session in this session, I would like to explain to you about about some general principle definition. Okay, moment distribution method. Uh, the 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 scope of moment distribution method. Okay, uh, we only uh will analyze beam as well as as well as frame to type of structure only. Uh, and uh, and in beam analysis, we have to consider uh, consider the support settlement as well. Whenever the 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 uh, the the value, the settlement value is given in the question, and then for frame analysis, for moment moment distribution method for frame analysis, frame uh, we have to know that there are two types. 
Okay, number one is uh, no side sway frame and number two is side sway frame. So this is the coverage actually for this uh, Bowman distribution method. Okay. So some introduction about the Bowman distribution method. Okay, this is actually based on uh, based on what has been developed by Hardy Cross in 1930. Okay, uh, so this method is a method of successive approximation that may be carried out to any desired degree of accuracy. So the, this method begin by assuming each joint of uh, structure is fixed. So because when we analyze uh, beam, uh, beam in uh, using using moment distribution method, we actually analyzing a continuous beam. Continuous beam is indeterminate beam. Okay. Uh, so in uh, a continuous beam normally consists of uh, more than one members. Uh, it may consist of member A, B, member B, C, member C, D, A, B, C, D, beam A, B, C, D. So we have to con uh, we have to analyze member by member as uh, as previously when we uh, when we uh, learn stiffness method. Also, we analyze member member by member. So so this time we also need to uh, analyze uh, member by member. So. So what we actually uh, uh, assume is we have to assume when we analyze member A, B, we have to assume that both end fits. When we analyze member member B, C, we have to assume uh, both end fits. Means B, uh, B is fixed, C is fixed. When we analyze member C, D, we have to assume that both end fits. Okay. So after that, uh, we uh, actually lock unlocking and locking. So the term is unlocking and locking. So this is actually the process that we are going to do in uh, in distribution table, uh, and we actually distribute the moment. We distribute the moment. We distribute joint moment, and finally we get the member end moment. Okay. So so in the tab the, in the table actually we repeat the process, okay, the distribution process, uh, again and again. So in the table there are two steps actually. Uh, we distribute we we distribute joint moment and then we carry over the moment. We repeat again. We distribute joint moment and we uh, we carry over the moment. So we have to repeat the the process again and again until the until the 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 final moment final uh, final moment in the table uh, at level distribution because we distribute we carry over. Uh, so the last uh, distribution reaches zero value. Then we have to stop uh, the process. Uh, that, that's the process in the table actually. Okay. So about the general principle. So this method uh, begin by assuming each joint fix. Okay. So this is uh, again unlocking, locking each joint. Uh, this is the process in the table. We have to distribute moment and then we have to balance back. So uh, to balance to balance the, the moment, we have to use the carryover factor. OK, so we, we repeat the process again and again until uh, the moment in the table reaches zero. Then we have to stop calculation, stop the process, stop the distribution process. And and after that, we have to plus all the moment in the table. Start with the first. The, the 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 first moment in the table which is fixed end moment fixed end moment start with the 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 first moment in the table until the last moment in the table we total and we get the member end moment that is the output of of a moment distribution method okay so let me introduce you about the sign convention that uh, we are going to use for moment distribution method so based on the textbook that we are referring it is hibler uh, textbook okay we use clockwise moment we use we use clockwise uh, we use clockwise moment that act on the member clockwise moment so look at the diagram it is one member it is one element and look at the moment direction mab and mba this is member ab so at a it is mab at b it is mba okay so this beam uh, let's say it is subjected by loading, by uh, loading it may be P, it may be uh, W, okay. And what happened to the beam? What happened to the beam? So there will be moment, 
because we assume both n fixed, right? Okay, so the moment that we uh, uh, that we uh, assume uh, that, that the, the, the direction of moment uh, that we need to assume uh, before we uh, before we start any any uh, calculation means at the beginning of the analysis we have to set the sign convention. So looking looking at this diagram, so M at A it is called as M A B. At B, it is called as MBA at B. And look at the moment direction. We assume that it is clockwise. MAB and MBA both clockwise because it is clockwise moment that act on member. Act on member. Okay. So now we move to fix end moment. Okay, the other the previous one is sign convention that we have to set for for a uh, moment distribution method so we we set we set clockwise is positive we set clockwise is positive that is why mab mba previously is look like this mab and ba is look like this so this is based on what we set okay so now we move to fixed end moment so fixed end moment when to use this fixed end moment uh, in the table, in the table, we are going to to uh, calculate the member end moment. We are going to calculate calculate member end moment, and the first member end moment in the table is the fixed end moment. The first moment in the table, okay. Before we start distributing uh, the value, the first moment in the table is fixed end moment and remember fixed end moment is behavior fixed end moment is behavior so when we when we calculate fixed end moment of course we have to assume that both end fixed both end fixed so look at the diagram look at the diagram so a b a is fixed b is fixed we have to assume both are fixed end because fixed has moment right Okay, but now look at the moment direction. Look at the moment direction. So M here, okay, MAB and MBA here is not, is not the previous one. It is actually the fixed end moment. This one is fixed end moment. Fixed end moment. Fixed end moment. Fixed end moment for AB. Fixed end moment for BA and fixed end moment is behavior. So why we get the direction like that? Because it is it is always counter counter uh, uh, the counter back. Okay, because the 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 beam due to eight hundred newton will bend. It will deflect. Okay, it will deflect. So the moment at uh, at N A and at and B, okay, at at both N and A and at B, moment the fixed end moment exists, okay, and that uh, those fixed end moment will push back the beam to its original position. For fixed end moment, for fixed end moment, so the direction that we get actually, actually. The behavior, and from this diagram, we can see that the moment, the fixed end moment, okay, both M F E M A B and F E M B A, okay, are look like this in the diagram because it it uh it push back the beam, the band beam to its original position, to its original position. So we get two value, uh, F E M for A B. FEM for BA. Okay, now what we need to do? FEM for AB, we have to compare with sign convention. We have to compare with the sign convention. Remember, we said sign convention clockwise is positive. So, so now FEM for AB is now opposite, is now counterclockwise. So FEMAB is negative and FEMBA 
since it is clockwise, is positive. So due to loading, due to external loading, due to external loading, we will always get FEM with opposite sign. One is negative, another one is positive. One is negative, another one is positive. Okay. Okay, this uh, actually some of the formula for fixed end moment, you are, you are given the appendix in final exam. Okay, uh, but uh, this, this diagram is actually uh, the diagram taken uh, from, uh, from the textbook. Okay, it has two columns. It has two columns. So what you need to refer is uh, the first column. The first column, the first column, we can see that both ends are fixed. Both ends are fixed. So the first column is called as far end fixed. Far end, far end fixed. Far end fixed. Okay, far end fixed. Okay, we just need to refer to, to the first column. And uh, uh, the this, this formula will be given. Okay, uh, if we refer to the second column, it is actually referring to uh, far end, this one is called as far end roller. Far end roller or, or far end uh, pin. Okay, far end roller or far end pin. But anyway, don't worry, you, did, you just need to refer to the first column by considering both ends are uh, fixed. Okay, so we all the, all the fixed end moment. We can see uh, here that the moment uh, at A and B are opposite, in opposite condition for FEM AB and FEM BA. Okay, uh, the first one is P uh, at the center. The second one is P not at the center. Okay, uh, the third one, the, 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 third, the fourth one. Okay, uh, and UDL, UDL, half UDL triangular and last one okay last one this okay this is due to delta this is due to delta this is not due this this is not external loading right this is due to delta here is the delta due to delta and and if you compare okay this fem due to delta with the above one due to loading, we can see that, we can see that the direction, moment of moment are different. Okay, so the, uh, when, when the beam, when, when the beam, uh, fixed ended beam is subjected by external loading, we will get FEM at A and B in opposite condition. So that's why we get opposite sign, one negative, one positive. However, due to delta, we don't get the same. Okay, we, we don't get the same with the previous, with, with external loading. But, but what we have is both have same direction. Both have same direction. Why we get that? Why we get that? That is why... I always uh, telling you that FEM, fixed end moment, is behavior. Behavior. So if we have condition like this, due, this is both end fixed and loading, due to loading. The band will beam, so the moment will push this and push this, so that the beam will move back to its original position. So this is due to external loading but support settlement support settlement means it is due to delta so due to delta for example okay so we have one horizontal line representing original position of the beam okay and due to delta this is delta and due to delta the beam will deflect Okay, it moved to or uh, it moved from original to new position. So 
your fix and fix original A and B. But the first part, the, the A is at this position, B at this position. This is B, this is A. This is A, this is B. Okay, let's say B is settled to new position and the new position is B prime. The new position is B prime. So we we will get what we will get triangular. A triangular with this uh, as 90 degree. Okay. So this is this is beam. Beam is horizontal. Original is horizontal. Okay, this beam, this beam after uh, support settlement. Okay, the support settlement is settled down. Uh, so of the amount uh, delta, delta. So it moved to new uh, position B prime. So the the this 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 is new position new position of the beam this this is original an original position of the beam is horizontal beam is always horizontal member beam beam is always horizontal member so the new position the new position after side sway okay now just focus on the new position just focus on the new position. This is the new position. Okay, remember, remember when we apply moment, when we apply fixed end moment, fixed end moment, the 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 role, the function of fixed end moment is to push back. Okay, the beam to its original position means that it will push this point like this. And this point like this, so that it will uh, go back to its original position. It is going to be horizontal again, horizontal again. So, so that is why that is why F E M due to delta both F E M at A, F E M at B have same sign. Have same sign. Okay, get get the idea. Okay, so in this triangular, in this triangular, uh, let's say uh, okay, we focus on we we focus at we focus uh at point A, at point A. Okay, and we focus on the 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 original line as well as the new line, the incline. Okay. Look at the rotation, the rotation, the rotation means that the angle, uh, the angle from original, it rotates it clockwise from A, A, B to A, B prime, the beam rotate clockwise, rotates clockwise, rotate clockwise. So this is the angle. And the angle is clockwise. So what we can conclude is when angle is clockwise, FEM, FEM is counter, counter clockwise. Okay. Both have both be, uh, both between uh, between the angle we call it as chord rotation okay we measure from original position to new position okay the movement from ab to ab prime okay it rotates clockwise and fem will push back against okay push back in opposite direction so fem is counter clockwise for both a and b so that is the fixed end moment. Okay, the fixed end moment. Okay, so this uh, actually representing this behavior. Okay. 
to take a break for uh for about five minutes and we will get back after this.
Okay, so we are going to continue the moment distribution method. I uh, would like to introduce about member stiffness factor. Member stiffness factor. Okay, so what is stiffness? I believe everyone knows what is stiffness because a previous topic is called a stiffness method and we 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 establish k but uh in in matrix form now in uh, moment distribution method we will uh, determine the stiffness factor in order to uh, to determine distribution factor and uh, for stiffness factor uh, there are uh, there are uh, two formula that uh, normally we consider uh, we consider based on far n condition Okay, let's look at uh, the notes first. Okay, uh, so what is uh, stiffness factor? Stiffness, member stiffness factor. So when we uh, talk about stiffness, it refers to member. Uh, means that for member AB, for example, it has uh, one value only. K for AB, K1, remember? K for AB or K1. So if it is uh, AB or it is BA, it, it is the same. Okay. So uh, the formula, so look at the formula. The formula, uh, whenever the far n is fixed, we use 4 EI over L. Whenever, whenever far n is fixed, why we call, uh, why we, we, we label or we call it as far n fixed? Far n fixed, because for, for member A, B, C, D, for example, member A, B, C, D, a, B, C, D, A, B, A, B, B will be always internal. So A is the, the far end. A is the far end. So that is why it is, uh, the term is far end, far end, far end. Because another one, another one will be the internal support. Okay, located at internal. A, B, A, B, C, D, B is internal, right? A is far N. So we, we refer to the uh, far N condition, means at A. So for far N fix the formula, it is just simple formula. And as usual, the stiffness, the stiffness is actually uh, influenced by E, I, and L. E, I, and L. E is, uh, e is material properties. I is section properties and L is the, the length of the member. Okay, so please remember, please remember K for far and fix, far and fix, we use for EI over L. Okay. So I don't want to show how we get that. Okay, because the, uh, the derivation of uh, 4 EI over L actually this have been discussed in slope deflection method and slope deflection method is not cover, uh, covered in uh, in this topic, moment distribution method. Okay. Okay, the second uh, formula, the second formula, previously when, when uh, far N is fixed, when far N is fixed, it is, uh, we calculate K using 4 EI over L and another one that uh, that we should remember, we should remember uh, is 3 EI over L, 3 EI over L and 3 EI over L is for far N pin, far N roller, okay, far N pin, far N roller. And again, why we, we need to call uh, as far N? Because we have to consider uh, for one member, for member A, B, C, D, okay, for A, B, C, D, so N, A, B, C, D, the N is A, the N is D. Okay, so another point will be at internal, located at internal. So far N means the last point. The first point and the last point for A, B, C, D, A, A is far N, D is far N. Okay, so for far N pin, far N roller, okay, we use 
3 EI over L. 3 EI over L. So when to use this? This is actually the first step that we need to do whenever we want to analyze beam, a continuous beam or frame as well. Using moment distribution method, this will be the first step. This will be the first step. Okay, I would like to introduce you about joint stiffness factor. And actually for joint stiffness, this will be used whenever we want to calculate distribution factor. Whenever we want to calculate distribution factor, then we have to use, we have to use uh, the joint, the joint stiffness, the joint stiffness. Okay, joint stiffness. So what, what does it mean, joint stiffness factor? If uh, several are fixed, if several members are fixed, connected to a joint, and each of their far end is fixed. The total stiffness factor at the joint is the sum of the member stiffness at joint. Okay, so joint stiffness means total K at one joint. At one joint. Okay, for example, for example, uh, so look at this diagram. Okay, this is frame. So this is just uh, for for you to to understand the concept of member stiffness and joint stiffness. Okay, this is frame. This frame has uh, okay, the joint is A B C D. The joint is A B C D A A here at the center. Okay, joint A, joint A, and then uh, joint B, joint C, joint D. Join B, join C, join D. Okay, there are four join. Okay, four join. So for for uh, for member for member we have member AD. Member AD. This is member AD. Okay, for member. And then for uh, another one is member AB. This is member AB. And another one is this. This is member A. C, A, C. That's member, member. So, so we we have K, A, B, K, A, C, K, A, D. That is member stiffness factor. Member stiffness factor. Okay. Okay. Now, beside member stiffness, we have to determine joint stiffness before we can calculate distribution factor. Before we can calculate distribution factor, so we have to, uh, we have to, uh, we have to identify uh, the joint stiffness. Okay, joint stiffness at A. Okay, at A. Okay, at A means joint. Uh, at A means K A B plus K A C plus K A D. So K is that K. Total K or joint stiffness. Joint stiffness refers to A. Refers to A. And it is it is K A B plus K A C plus K A D. Okay, we get from this, we get from this, we get from this. That's total K. Total K at joint A at joint A. Okay, and the total is 10,000. Now, let's say the member stiffness as shown. Okay, the member stiffness as shown. K for member AD is 1,000. K for member AB is 1,000. K for uh, 4,000. K for member AC is 5,000. 5,000. Okay, now, from this, from this, we are going to use this when Calculating distribution factor. Distribution factor. So what is distribution factor? Okay. Distribution factor. Okay. We will use this in the table to distribute joint moment. Okay. That's the simple word. The, sim uh, the simple. The simple uh, about distribution factor. 
we will use distribution factor in the table to distribute joint moment. To distribute joint moment. So what is the formula? It is K divided by total K. K divided by total K. So what is K? Okay, what is what is this K? Okay, this K means member. Stiffness. Factor. Okay, divide by total K. So what is total K? Total K is joint stiffness factor. Okay, so it is joint member stiffness divided by joint stiffness. Okay, now we will see how to determine distribution factor. Distribution factor. Okay, actually, uh, actually, in this in this example, it only shows uh, three distribution factor. But in original, there are there are six six uh, member and moment because because member consists of two nodes. Remember, one element consists of two nodes. Nodes means two n. To N member N refers to uh, to N A and B N A and N B. Okay, so actually this frame, this frame, if we draw uh, the the free body diagram uh, separately, member by member, so it is going to be like this. Okay, so this is A A D. A, B, and A, C. So this frame has three members. So what is member and moment? Member and moment. Remember, member and moment is the goal. Member and moment is the goal. So what is member and moment? And how many member and moment for these three members? We get from one frame. So there are two, two, and two. So in total, in total, there are six. There are six member and moment, moment in this frame. In this frame, six. So how? This. We just need to consider three. Why it is only three? Because there are six member and moment. Uh, six member and moment means six distribution factor as well. Six, six member and because it has six and six member and moment means six. Distribution factor. So why here we just need to focus on these three? Okay, it is because it is because the distribution factor for for n fix n fix n fix distribution factor for n fix. Okay, distribution factor for n fix is zero. Distribution factor for n fix is zero. That is why we just need to consider three here. For the concept, it just show okay three distribution factor out of six. Actually, there are six because one. Please remember, one member has two n. One member has two n. So there are there are three three members. So it should be six. Six member and moment. Okay, six member and moment. And number of distribution factor is actually equal to six also. Six distribution factor. Producing six member and moment. But now we just focus at A. At A. Because at, uh, there, are, there are fixed support and fixed support distribution factor is equal to zero. Okay. 
So what is actually occur is, okay, now uh, we we uh, refer to the the second diagram. Okay, let's say there there is an applied moment at joint A. The value is two thousand newton, two thousand newton meter. Clockwise, clockwise. Okay. And this uh, this moment is an uh, applied moment that is subjected at joint. Subjected at joint. So, moment member and moment means we want to. Uh, determine the uh, member and moment at joint A, the, the value of member and moment at joint A. Member and moment. So there are two things here that you should understand. There are two things here that you should understand. Number one is joint moment. At joint, at joint, at joint, at joint. Joint moment. Join moment. Okay. And another one is member and moment. Member and moment. Okay. This 200 is join moment. And we have to distribute this 2000. We have to distribute to a, B, A, C, A, D using distribution factor at A, at A. So, it is 2000 times distribution factor. So, so member and moment we get from join moment because, because this is join. This is join moment and this is distribution factor where the total is 1.0. Distribution factor at join is 1. Distribution, distribution factor at join is 1. And in total, it must also 1. Distribution factor. Okay, so, so now. MAB, MAC, MAD. Okay, these three, okay, these three is called as member and moment. Okay, this is member and moment. Okay, member and moment. MAB, MAC, MAD. These three are member and moment. So, how to get this? member and moment it is join moment times with distribution factor it is join moment times with distribution factor and distribution factor we get from from k from the the member the stiffness factor okay so that's the actually the process whenever we want to uh, to calculate member and moment the, the process in the table actually we have to 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 uh, to use the join moment we times with the uh, the distribution factor and we get member and moment okay, that's the step join moment we times with member uh, with distribution factor we get member and moment so that is the process in every cycle at level of distribution okay okay so that is why we get like this so we distribute the 2000 if we distribute using distribution factor okay okay this is member relative stiffness factor so uh i skip this one i want to highlight on the carryover factor Okay, carry over factor. 
for carry over factor actually the for the carry over factor we do not calculate the factor but we use the factor in the table there are two uh, actually there are two value of uh, carry over factor and these two value uh, these two values are based on the far end condition we have two far end condition i uh, introduced to you previously it is for n fix for n roller for n fix for n roller okay so for far n fix for far n fix so when we talking about far n fix it is also covers internal internal support for example a b c d b and c internal Okay, so the factor is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. 1 over 2, 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. So this is carry over factor. It is 0 0.5 for far and fixed. Okay. And we have another far end, right? We have far end roller as well, far end roller, far end pin. And for that one, we use zero for far and pin or roller. Okay. Okay, that's the thing. The thing that you should understand. Okay, uh, before we start, we will start the, the example. Okay, so you, we, you should understand about stiffness factor, how we, calc we, we, we calculate stiffness factor. Okay, stiffness factor. And uh, after that is, okay, first, first is stiffness factor. So in moment distribution method, uh, first thing to understand is stiffness factor. We uh, we calculate stiffness factor based on two far end condition. It is far and fixed for end roller. For far and fixed, we use four ei over l, and for far end uh, far end pin roller, we use three ei over l. Okay, it is stiffness factor. Remember stiffness factor. And then we have to uh, we, we have to calculate distribution factor and distribution factor is based on the formula k divided by total k total k representing total total uh, total uh, stiffness uh, joint stiffness okay then we get distribution factor so distribution factor will be used in the table to distribute moment because in order to ca to calculate member and moment, remember member and moment is the the outcome is the goal for moment distribution method. So to calculate member and moment, the process is is to uh, is is join moment. We have to times with distribution factor to to calculate to calculate the uh, the member uh, the 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 member and moment. So what we need to do is we have to we have to times two things. It is distribution factor times with member uh, times with with uh, join moment distribution factor uh, times with join moment. Okay. So look at the procedure first. Okay. Procedure. Okay, these are the thing that we I have actually explained to you just now. Okay, about distribution factor zero and one zero for n fix. One is is for n pin and roller. That's for distribution factor. Okay, uh, distribution factor. Okay, we we calculate F E M. FEM uh, as the first uh, member and moment in the table. The first member and moment in the table. So in the table, the process is we have to determine moment. We have to determine moment. Uh, the, the moment to so the process is join moment times join moment times distribution factor. Remember, we will calculate member and moment. 
member and moment. So in the table, in the table, so we have to understand that we have join moment, we have we have uh, we have member and moment. Okay, but the moment that we distribute is join moment. From join moment, we want to distribute uh, distribute to member member and moment. Okay, the process is we uh, determine the moment that is needed to put each join in equilibrium. So release or unlock the join and distribute the counter balancing moment uh, into the connecting uh, span at each join. So counter balancing uh, okay, this this uh, this point is actually referring to uh, to the step after we distribute moment. So we have to we have to carry the value counter balancing. OK, and then we uh, uh, OK, uh, counter balancing moment. OK, this one means we we convert from uh, we convert from member and moment to to uh, to join moment first. Then only we can distribute distribute the moment. OK, counter balancing means we have to uh, change the member and moment into join moment because the the uh, the join moment we times with distribution factor. OK, and then the next step is we have to carry the moment, carry this moment uh, using the factor. It is carry over factor. So it is 0 0.5 for N fixed internal and N fixed. It is 0 0.5. OK, internal support and N fixed is 0 0.5. So uh, if uh, N is roller or N is pin, so we use one. We use one. Okay, so this is one example. Okay, taken from the textbook. Okay, so the question in calculate internal moment, internal moment, ex, uh, and internal moment, uh, bending moment, member and moment, it is the same thing. OK, the same thing. So we have to calculate into the moment. So it is member and moment. Into the moment, it has a six based on this diagram. A, B, C, D. A, B, B, C, C, D. Three members, right? So three members producing three members. It is three members uh, because it has two and so six member and moment. So from uh, six uh, member and moment means we have to have six DF as well. So six uh, member and moment means six DF. So we have to have means that we have to have six column in the table. We have to have six column. We have to have A, B, A, C, A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, C, D, D, C. OK, because uh, one important thing that everyone should understand is when we have this uh, this beam, for example, this beam, okay, we should understand that this beam, roller, roller, fix, UDL and point load, okay, UDL and point load, as a matter, okay, like this, okay, this is A, B, C, okay, we have to be able to uh, to draw the free body diagram this is one structure a continuous beam is one structure we have to be able to resolve this into element remember the the, the word we have to divide the structure into element remember divide the structure into element means we have to be able to 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 uh, to translate this into element means element uh, ab element bc element cd OK, to draw the free body diagram. OK, so we draw it separately. One, two and three. One, two and three. So this refers to A, B, B, C and C, D. There are six N, six member and moment, six distribution factor means six column in the table. OK. OK, so there are six. There are six. OK, the first assumption that we made, it is based on sign convention. For MDM, all clockwise. 
that's the the definition from the sign convention clockwise moment that act on member clockwise moment that act on member are positive positive okay okay beside beside member it it also has join we have join b here we have join c here here is join d is a join d okay okay this is join a this is join b this is join c and this is join d okay 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 now we want to start calculate the member and moment all these six and we have to start with we have to start with the first moment in the table and the first moment in the table is come from external loading fixed end moment because bc has uh, has udl uh, cd has point load so means that it will it will produce fixed end moment so from the fixed end moment uh, we we will start uh, the distribution the distribution okay and remember the process remember the process to uh, to calculate moment member and moment we we use join join moment with time with the with, with distribution factor okay here we have two things here we have two things one is member and moment Two, we have join moment. Okay, member and moments and join moments. Okay. And between these two, member and moment and join moment, these two, okay, it is opposite. It is opposite means that if the member and moment that act on member is assumed clockwise and it is positive join moment is opposite join moment is opposite it means that okay look at it look look at the diagram look at the diagram the the, the moment direction okay draw now draw a moment the other moment at join which is opposite with okay member and moment opposite 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 just draw and it must opposite okay at b opposite opposite Okay. Opposite. Okay. Now at C, opposite with this. Opposite with this. Okay. Opposite. Opposite. Okay. Next. Okay. Opposite. Opposite. Okay, so the green, the green moment should now representing join moment, and join moment is opposite with member and moment. Okay, join moment is opposite with member and moment. Okay. Remember, we have two member and moment and join moment. And please remember that between these two, it is opposite direction. Member and moment and join moment. Okay. So that's the thing that you should understand. Okay. So the solution for this 
Okay, we start with calculate, calculating distribution factor. And uh, distribution factor we get from stiffness factor. We use uh, the formula. Okay, so referring to this for A, B, for N is, for N is fixed. For N fixed, so we use 4 here. For E, I over L. Internal always fixed, 4 here. And for N fixed refers to D. So this is also four. So we use all all four EI over L. Okay, there are three members: member AB, member BC, member AB, member BC, member CD. Remember, K KAB means KBA also same. KBC K KCB also same. KCD, KDC also say because it refers to one member. Okay, so from this K, we will calculate the distribution factor. It is K over total K. Okay, so there are six DF. Six DF start from A, B, B, A, and then B, C, C, B, and then C, C, D, D, C. Okay, and at A, and at D, because A is the first point that uh, uh, this, and this is the end point. So there are two end point, and A and D. Okay, and A is fixed, D is also fixed. So remember, distribution factor for far and fixed, far and fixed will always be zero distribution factor for far and fixed will always be zero and fixed it, it is for for uh for fixed and fixed and okay okay uh the other the other we just we just uh use the formula to calculate the value Okay, uh, so for DFBA, DFBC, DFBA means uh, DF, DFBA, DFBC. Okay, I would like to uh, show to you in table form so that you will uh, see it clearly. Okay, we want to have, we want to have, okay, we have, we want to calculate a six member and moment means there are six distribution factor. The distribution factor, distribution factor we label uh, based on this A, B, B, A. We will have, F, uh, we will have a moment for A, B, moment for B, A. And then B, C and C, B, C, D and D, C. So it is six column. D, D, C, eh? D, C. It is six column. A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, C, D, D, C, six. Okay. So distribution factor here, okay, start. Okay, uh, we determine K, there are three K, KAB, KAB, KBC, and KCD, KCD, three, remember, right? Yes, okay, K, KAB, KBC, KCD, Okay, we get 4 over 12, 4 over 12, 4 over 8, depending on the length. Okay, the length. So we get 4 over 12. Okay, yeah, here is 4 EI over 12. Length for BC also 12. So, okay, 4 EI over 12. And length for CD is 8. So it is 4 EI over 8. Okay, that's the K. That's the K. So from this, we want to we want to calculate distribution factor. Distribution factor. Okay. 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 Distribution factor for AB for AB is zero. For DC is also zero. Okay. So for B A for B A okay B we have two B A B C and C we have two B C B C D 
Okay, and in total, these two must equivalent to one. These two must equivalent to one. Okay, so what is the value for BA, BC? And for CB, CD? Okay, so for DF, BA, it is K, B, A. Divide by B, we have B, A and B, C. K, B, A plus K, B, C. E, I will be cancelled. So it is 4 over 12. Divide by 4 over 12 plus 4 over 12. So we get here 0 0.5. And, and since total BA and BC must be equal to 1, BC also 0 0.5. Okay. For CB, for CB, it is like this. This is example calculation, yeah? Okay, the DF, DF for CB. DF for CB, it is... Okay, look at this, CB, KCB. And KCB, total K, total, uh, total K at C means, okay, KCB plus KCD. KCB and KBC is the same. It is 4 over 12 EI. So it is 4 over 12. KBC, K, uh, it is 4 over 12 plus KCD is 4 over 8. 4 over 8. Okay. And we will get, and we will get K or DFCB as 0 0.4. 0 0.4. So this is 0 0.4. So, from this, we know that this is 0 0.6. Okay? Distribution factor. Distribution factor. Okay. So, next step, after distribution factor, we have to focus on the fixed end moment. Why? Because fixed end moment, fixed end moment is actually the first. First. Okay? Fixed end moment is actually the first, uh, the first member end moment in the table. The first member end moment in the table. Okay. So before we uh, we continue, before we continue uh, to fix end moment and after that the table. Okay. Uh, so let us take a break for five minutes.
So we come back to continue uh, to analyze in a continuous beam A, B, C, D to determine uh, what we call uh, uh, what we call as a member end moment member and moment so for member and moment what we uh, need to do is we have to distribute moment in the table in the table so i have uh, uh, explained to you about the first uh, the first and the second step uh, start with calculating this uh, calculating stiffness factor stiffness factor and after that distribution factor okay distribution factor now we want to move to to uh, the next part the next part is uh, the fixed end moment. And fixed end moment is actually the first member and moment in the table. The first member and moment in the table. Okay. Okay. So this is the, the diagram, the original one. It is a continuous beam. So BC has UDL and CD has point load. Okay, so looking uh, looking at this, so member BC has fixed end moment at B and at C, and member CD has fixed end moment at C and at D. Okay, because remember fixed end moment is behavior. The uh, the, the fixed end moment we push back the 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 band beam to its original position. So the uh, at at both uh, end uh, at bo at both end fixed end. So the moment will uh, opposite, the moment opposite each other, with each other opposite, because it, uh, it has to, to counter back, counter back the, the beam to its original position, to straight position. Okay, so, so we will start with calculating the fixed end moment, calculating the fixed end moment for member BC because member AB member AB is zero right okay there's no value for F uh, for FEM AB because uh, AB has no loading okay so you look at the the the, the diagram uh, the diagram is the actually is uh, based on the the uh, the given formula in appendix, the given formula in appendix. So actually, it refers to this PC, okay? PC. This is the formula. All formula refers to A and B only. Doesn't matter. So we are now calculating fixed end moment for member BC. So we will, we will get FEM for BC. We will get FEM for CB. The formula is given the direction we have to refer to this direction this direction it is opposite it is opposite and when we compare with the sign convention it is one negative one positive okay okay so use the formula we we, calcul we calculate the value we get 240 240 but please remember bc because of the the behavior okay this is negative Okay, negative because it is counterclockwise. Sign convention is clockwise positive. It is counterclockwise, so it is opposite. Okay, so it is negative, negative. So one negative, one positive for uh, for fixed end moment for member BC, member BC. And next one again, we use the formula. It is PL over eight for point load at the center. At the center, it is member CD. It is member CD. So FEM CD, FEM DC. Okay, FEM CD, FEM DC. So one negative, one positive. This is negative. Negative to 50 and 250. Okay, so there are four values. Remember, we have six columns, right? We have column A, B, B, A. We have column B, C, C, B. We have column C, D, D, C. Okay, now we want to put uh, into diagram distribution factor and and this fixed end moment. Okay, so we make a table. Okay, this is the table. Okay, uh, there are four joint A, B, C, D. There are six member representing six member and moment. 
Okay. Representing six member and moment. Okay. DF also six. Start from AB until DC. DF at AB and DF at DC. Zero because of fixed N. Okay, fixed N. Uh, fixed is zero. Okay, then B and C total is one. B and C. B and C total is one. Total is one. Okay, zero means fixed N. Zero means fixed N. Okay. And then we, we, we put distribution factor here. Distribution factor. Okay, distribution factor. And then. Okay, we put all the value that we have just calculated previously. Okay, then. Okay, this is double line. This is double line, right? This is double line. Why? Okay. Because. We will start with the first member and moment. And when when we want to find the, the, the total moment, we start with the FEM. Don't get confused. Okay. The distribution factor is just the factor in order to distribute from joint moment to from joint moment to the member and moment. Member and moment. Okay. So fixed end moment we get for uh, BC C B negative po negative positive 240. 240, negative 240 and 240. And for CD, it is negative 250 and 250. Okay. FEM. FEM. Remember, FEM is the first, first member and moment in the table. First member and moment in the table. Okay. So, what does it mean? What does it mean? Okay. Go back to the concept. Okay. Go back to the concept. We have member BC. We have member CB. This is BC. This is CB. Let's start with AB. Okay, we start with AB. Okay, we start with AB. We have AB. We have B A B C. So this is AB. This is BC. Okay. AB has no FEM, but BC has two. Uh, of course, two. So one negative, one positive, right? So okay, this is one value, one value, another value. So this is two forty and two forty. That negative, the negative that we put in the table is actually representing this behavior. This is negative. So that negative means this direction. Okay. Okay, please remember that joint moment opposite with member and moment. Joint moment opposite with member and moment. So beside this, this is member. So in between, it is join. So join B here. And it is opposite. 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 240. But it is opposite. Okay, so this. This is join. Moment. Join moment. So this one. This one actually we distribute. Okay, the join moment. The fixed end moment, the fixed end moment that we have calculated using formula, it is actually the first member end moment. But the moment that we distribute is joint moment. The moment that we distribute is joint moment. And it is opposite. Okay? So once we get that joint moment, 
to distribute moment, we have to time with the factor. Okay, so that is why, look at this. Okay, for B, okay, for B, this B is join B, is join B. Join B. So the moment is 240 because it, it is opposite with this. So if if this is negative, total, uh, this is negative means the moment that we distribute is 240 positive. So that is why the answer is positive, positive. Because, because this is actually is the 240. So means that whenever we do this, okay, just find the total moment, total moment, then we have to change sign. Okay, we have to change sign. Okay, for example, this for C. For C, for C, it is 240. It is 240 and negative 250. It is negative 10. But negative 10 is not joint moment. Positive 10 is joint moment. That is why here it is positive, positive. Because the moment that we distribute is joint moment. And it is opposite with member and moment. Okay? So that's the first step, distribution distribution and then we move to the the next step after distribution it is called as carry over carry over carry over carry over carry over because we repeat the process and carry over we uh we have to two times with the factor okay factor and because because of uh because this beam, this beam A is fixed, B, C is uh, also fixed, internal fixed, D also fixed. So the factor that we use for all column will be 0 0.5, will be 0 0.5. That is why we get this as half of 120. And we have to carry to opposite, yeah? We have to carry to opposite, cross boundary. Cross boundary. Okay, this one also. Half cross boundary. Okay, 120 becomes 60 because it is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Four. Okay, four become two. Four become two. 0 0.5, right? The factor is 0 0.5. Then six become three. Six become three. And we have to carry the value to opposite join, cross boundary, cross boundary. Okay? So that's the process for the first cycle. For the first cycle, that's the process. And after that, we, we have to distribute again. And when, when we distribute again, change sign. When we, when we, when we, uh, when we want to calculate the step after carry over is distribution. So at distribution, we have to change sign. We have to change sign. But in carry over, we, we don't have to. It is just factor 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So it is still the same, the same sign. But for distribution, we have to change sign because of the behavior. Because the moment that we distribute is joint moment and joint moment is always opposite with member and moment. Okay, so in this table, so we have, we just have to continue, repeat the process again and again and again until the last distribution reaches 0, 0.0, which is 0 actually. Okay, so normally five times or six times, okay, uh, are enough. So, but one thing to remember here is please start, must be started, okay, at distribution, 
and the last one is also distribution stock must be at distribution stock must be at distribution okay so and after that we have to plus all the moment start from f e m we have to total all this total all this until the end total all this start from the first fixed end moment and finally finally the total the summation okay referring to all this and we will get back this plus this as mb and it is zero and this one this one mc is zero okay so at because it is roller support at b and c right and it is internal so the moment is zero it has moment when when we analyze it separately uh, when it become m mba it has value mbc it has value but mba plus mbc it is zero okay mba plus mbc means the value uh it's just it is just opposite value opposite sign opposite sign one negative one positive because the concept of of a uh, member and moment okay the concept at join is actually m mba plus mb t is equal to zero so this is the six member and moment for the given question for the given question normally uh from this, this because this is internal moment this is bending moment this is this is internal moment and from this we can draw the diagram the bending moment diagram okay remember when when we draw the diagram when we draw the bending moment diagram if we want to determine the salient point if you want to determine the salient point here and here, the maximum moment, okay, we have to use the shear force diagram. Okay, shear force diagram in order to determine uh, the maximum moment at the at the intersection. At the intersection. Okay. So I will detail, I will uh okay, you will have okay to 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 learn how to draw the bending moment diagram directly using the moment that we get in the table okay practice uh every day because this is uh normally the compulsory question okay given so you have to and of course this is very important for design purpose okay the the bending moment diagram is very very important so we have to know you have to know the theory how we get the maximum moment and it is actually from shear force diagram okay i will conduct uh another session to discuss or to focus uh, more on on the bending moment diagram and how we uh we can determine the maximum moment in the bending moment diagram okay in another video anyway you can also uh watch my recording previous 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 semester so shear force diagram and many women diagram also have okay please uh, find it by yourself and that's all actually for moment distribution method this is the basic one without support settlement where we have to calculate fem due to external loading only okay external loading only so please continue exercise because after uh, after uh, this we we'll focus on uh on the, the effect as well the support system effect before we move to frame analysis it is tight sway frame analysis okay uh so that's all for for this session okay uh so thank you for for watching and we will meet again we will meet again in the next session thank you very much Okay, good night. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.